Imagine logging into your favorite website with just one click using social media credentials, thinking your account is secure. But what if that quick login could let someone else sneak into your data? Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see how they do it and safeguards against it. Let's get started. Go to the challenge page and it says that this lab uses an OAuth service to allow users to log in, in with their social media account. To solve, log in to Carlos account, email ID given and credentials for our social media account is Wiener and Peter. Pretty simple. Click on assess the lab. Now here we have our blog page. Go to Foxy Proxy, switch to Burp Suit. Open Burp Suit, keep the intercept off. Go to my account, redirecting to social media account, enter the given credential. It is Wiener and password is Peter. Sign in. Now tap on continue. Right. Open verb suit. Click on HTTP history and look for post method with authenticate under URL. Here it is. Right click and send it to repeater. Open repeater. And here you can see that uh, our email ID is wiener at hotdog.com. Head back to the challenge page and copy email address of victim. Copy it back to burp suit. Replace our email ID with Carlos. Click on send. Perfect, no error. Right click. Request in browser in original session. Copy the link, open new tab, paste the link, hit enter and it's done. Congratulations, you solved the lab. To safeguard against authentication bypass vulnerabilities related to OAuth 2.0, number one, switch to more secure flow that is use the authorization code flow with PKCE. Number two, implement strict token, that is use short-lived tokens, set secure HTTP only cookies, use the state parameters. Number three, implement robust client-side security. And number four, monitor secure redirect URIs. Now by following these measures, you can reduce the risk associated with OAuth 2.0 and ensure better security for your application and the users thanks for watching